Good morning, students. I hope you're having a great morning so far and you're ready for another amazing day full of learning. Today is March 3rd, 3-3. So um, today we're going to be having a cheeseburger on a bun, french fries, and lunch bunch grapes for lunch today. Um, we are on Essentials Color Green still. Uh, next week we will be on blue. We don't have any birthdays today, but we do have a half birthday. Um, Brooklyn Heron, she is in uh, Miss Ferris' homeroom. There she is. She is going to be turning 11 in about six months from now. So happy half birthday to you, Brooklyn. Hope you have a wonderful half birthday and a wonderful birthday in September. And uh, we'll probably be celebrating your birthday next year as well on September 3rd uh, when you get here. Um, but we didn't get to um, last uh, last September because we started school a little late. So happy half birthday to you and I hope it's a great day for you. It's supposed to be pretty nice outside today. Beard's coming in pretty good. Working on that. Um, today is uh, Weird and Wacky Fact Wednesday and today um, one weird and wacky fact is every March 3rd is uh, National What If Pets Had Thumbs Day. And I think it's actually a pretty important um, holiday. I have four pets myself. I have two cats and two dogs. And um, yeah, they're a big, big part of our family. Matter of fact, 63% um, of Americans, that's almost two out of every three Americans that do have pets feel like their pet is part of their family. And I can definitely attest to that, um, that they are definitely a big part of our family. 70 million dogs are pets in America and 74 million cats are pets. So there's actually more cats as pets than dogs, but there's a lot, a lot of uh, 144 million dogs and cats. And imagine if they had thumbs, basically meaning they'd be able to pick things up and how interesting that would be. Um, so in honor of National If Pets Had Thumbs Day, maybe go home if you haven't done this already, uh, teach your dog how to give a high five or something like that. Or if you already have done that, maybe try to teach them a new trick today. Play with them a little more than what you normally do. And something else you could do even in your free time in school today is list all of the different things your pet could do if it did have thumbs. If, if your dog had thumbs, which means they'd be able to pick things up, um, or do other things, draw, color, whatever, what would your pet do? So that'd be kind of interesting to find out, right? Uh, what either your dogs or your cats. I have two cats. I'm pretty sure if they had thumbs, they'd still ch probably just lay around and not pay attention to us very much. At least my cats do that. Mm -hmm. So um, let's just take a couple seconds and focus on our breathing today. It's Wednesday, one of my favorite days of the week. Um, it's beautiful looking outside. It's supposed to kind of warm up a little bit, so um, really looking forward to a nice spring feeling day. It's not spring yet, but it's starting to feel like it a little bit. Big deep breath in through your nose. And hold it. And breathe out. Big deep breath in. And hold it. And breathe out. One more time, big deep breath in. And hold it. And breathe out. It's gonna be a great day today. Um, I'm sure you're looking forward to another amazing day here. We're so happy to have you and I you should feel very lucky to go to a school that you are loved and that you're cared for. Remember your number one job here is to learn so be where you're supposed to be, do what you're supposed to do, and act how you're supposed to act. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday everybody and go Pirates!